Organizations are frequently confronted with decisions. In such situations, the concept of opportunity costs and the procedure outlined in the first chapter always holds true. To review, first list all the possible alternatives, then determine the cash flow for each alternative. Finally, from an economic perspective, identify the alternative that generates the highest cash flows. The relevant cash outflows and inflows are called the relevant costs and relevant revenues. Relevant is also referred as incremental or differential. These costs and revenues meet two criteria. First, they happen in the future. Past cash flows are interesting as a basis of discussion, but irrelevant since the past cannot be changed. Second, they differ between alternatives. Future cash flows that are identical to the alternatives evaluated are not relevant for the decision process because they do not help to distinguish the best alternatives from the rest. However, if irrelevant costs or irrelevant revenues are included in the analysis, they will not affect the final decision. Why? Because only the difference between the cash flows of the various alternatives matters. Adding or subtracting the same number from all the alternatives does not change the difference between alternatives. For short-term decisions, it is wise to question the full cost information since it reports the cost of all resources that go into producing and selling a product when not all these resources are relevant. That being said, the full cost information is useful when assessing the long-term profitability of products. In fact, a decision that has long-term implications may find all costs useful. To conclude, it is important to note that some costs and some revenues may be relevant to certain decisions, but irrelevant to other decisions. Thus, it is important to carefully evaluate which costs and revenues are relevant to each decision.